Hello world, this is Shruti Pandey and today I have with me Amit Jain, the founder of Mitti Ke Rang and today we are going to understand more about why he started a social venture around providing livelihood to women and there's so much I need to talk to him. It also very classically reminds me of, you know, uh, Mahila Gri Udyog or Lidjad and other uh, endeavors which I used to hear about when I was growing up. So many, many congratulations, first of all, Amit, for having that amount of courage and guts to even think of a social venture and an NGO like this. Uh, kudos to you. Thank you so much. Great to be here. So I, I have created three questions for you. Uh, should, should we just dive into them without any sure. further ado? Awesome. My, my first question for you is very much around the, the introduction that I was giving for you is Mitti Ke Rang. It is basically a social venture, right? Which provides livelihood to women via an e-commerce platform. So if I remove all the, uh, you know, uh, nitty gritties about it, it's still a platform which is providing uh, livelihood for women. So what I mean, why exactly a social venture? I, I don't want to understand what, how, but I, I literally want to understand from you why a social venture around, you know, livelihood for women. Sure. So, Mitigan, what we do exactly right now, it's like a platform for women entrepreneurs. Whatever product they make in terms of food and other categories, we list on the website and we sell it across the globe. So, that's what we do exactly. Why social venture? Uh, until 2019, so Mitigan got started in 2013. When I was working with the Bank of New York Mellon, and until 2019, we just kept uh, taking it forward as a social, as an NGO and a small activity group. But in 2019, when we started training women entrepreneurs to make paper bag, key light candles, then me and my co-founder, Mr. Sake Deshmukh, we thought when, so whenever we hear the word NGO, the first word which comes into our mind is charity. And we are like when women entrepreneurs can make the products, so why to give it a name as a charity? Let's make it more dignified work. So we moved from the term NGO to a social venture, wherein the team, the, the, the company, the venture will earn a profit. We will draw a salary and the women entrepreneurs who are working with us will also earn a profit. So this way we can sustain for a longer period. So to answer your question, that's why we moved from the word NGO to a social venture. And that year we thought legit that people won't appreciate this fact because everybody is into NGO work. Nice. But when we launched this in that year, Diwali 2019, after changing or shifting from NGO to social venture, we sold around 52,000 candles in 40 days because people really appreciated the fact that, okay, you guys are being genuine and this is how it should be. So yeah, that's the background. That is crazy. And I have respect, I have more respect for you for the fact every time you were talking about these women, you, you were never bringing any, you know, sad or misery or, you know, negative aspect to it. You always call them entrepreneurs. Why is that? Or what made you have right. that outlook towards them as calling women entrepreneurs, like the way you call them? Because I myself, you know, when I see any content or anything where the charity is being portrayed, because we had done that in the past when we were running an NGO and we, we didn't have that much knowledge because we were very new to that. So when we used to go and see and read all those things, it really used to irritate me. Dude, why? You know, why always show charity this, this, this? Mm -hmm. So that's why we are like, no, you know, if let's be dignified, let's give everybody a chance to portray themselves and not give a word of charity. Because if you think of a charity or a garibi all the time, mm -hmm. your work of action has to uh, go like that way. But when we think it as a social venture, like a startup, so we don't think as a charity, but taking it more sustainably for the future to make the best for them and not, you know, just give uh, like Taras Khan and all those work. Right. And while it's very empowering, the, the image that is being projected outside in the world, it would be very empowering for the people also, right? Like these women entrepreneurs, it would be very empowering for them also, right? To not be looked upon as are bichari, iska aisa, uska aisa, and all the sorts of things which we typically listen or hear or maybe anticipate. But it would give them also some kind of, you know, sense of pride in what they're doing. Does that also happen? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Makes sense. So I, 
I wanted to ask you the second question around the, the BNY experience that you were talking about because I've seen you you were working or you were in a job for a very long time until 2019 while you were having this venture of yours at the site. So what made you leave that job and go full time into a mission like this? Right. <laughs> so why we started Mittikarang because I lost my father at a very early age, at the age of three. And when I came to Pune in 2012 with a BCom, BCom degree, I came with 1,000 rupees. We were so poor. So I survived for a month, eight once in a day. I went to a, a couple of jobs. And a lot of people told me that with a BCom degree, you won't be able to get a, even a small job. But thanks to network and all those things, I kept talking to people. Luckily, Bank of New York uh, hired me. That's a very different story all with what exactly happened in the process. But yeah, Bank of New York got me into it. A good package. Mom came to Pune. Then we are like, let's do something because my 21st birthday, the food, accommodation, everything was given by cousins in Busawal, my hometown. So it's, give to, it's time to give back because now we are settled. So we're like, what to do? We started with a very small initiative of collection of clothes, books, everything. That's how we started. Our first big or a volunteer or big support was an auto driver. That's again a different story. So that's how we started in 2019. In the journey, I met my co-founder Sakit Deshmukh. I did a lot of events, backpack across. Then I thought, okay, it's high time now. Let's leave the job and take this full time because we have entrepreneurs who have been working and making products and that needs my full time. Right. So I'm like, let's take a chance. I told my family that my company is kicking me out from the job because they will never agree to the fact that coming with one kid, leaving a high-end job. I'm like, I have to take a risk. So I just left the job for the next one to two months. I was pretty blank what I'm doing with my life. But over the period, things came coming out and that's the journey. I mean, you you gave me so many points there to elaborate on. And uh, I want to ask you one thing. If if it's too personal to answer, you can just skip it and you can let me know about it. But since you mentioned the fact that uh, you came from a humble beginnings and you've seen uh, the downside and I have also seen in my life without getting into my story, I mean, th that job would have meant a lot to you, right? For quite some time in your life when... Uh, you wanted for sustenance or running your family and supporting them. Uh, weren't you afraid that if you leave that job, you are, you know, that monthly paycheck will go away and what will happen? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, so that was a big uh, <coughs> uh, tension in my mind, ki kya, like what will happen next. Okay. But uh, I think one thing which really helped me was network and the confidence in myself. Ki, okay, nahi bhi hua na, I'll get something out of, out of this. I'll get a job or whatever, I'll do something with my life. So network was a big support. My co-founder, definitely big support. And uh, so I didn't have that bigger saving, but I had the girls and the, like, try it. So that, that attitude, it helped me. It helped really well. I, I love your positivity. It's really very contagious. And if it's okay to ask amongst the two stories, if it's okay for you to share who BNY wala job kaise wala or anything, if you can, maybe whatever yeah. way you can answer so i went for a job at e clubs in pune they were offering me eight thousand per month i was very happy to job to me i got a job i called my mom so someone told me over there that just go to bank of new york they are they are also hiring i'm like also let's try i went to the hr the consultancy they told me that you're a BCom grad like a fresher they won't hire you i came out walk a kilometer then he just called me back he just try once mm -hmm. i went to bank of new york the interview went for a whole day so my manager came uh he asked me, like, uh, why are you wearing sports shoes? So I'm like, I don't have money. I just got this from my roommate where I'm staying in the hostel. Mm -hmm. So that's how the talk began. And it took one hour. So, but I had read a lot. I used to listen to podcasts in my graduation days. Read a lot. So the interview was from Brazils. And uh, she was talking in English. I was able to understand because I was listening to BBC, BBC podcast without any intention. Ki kya hoga again. And that's how I think everything's fall in a place. I got a job. Crazy. That is crazy. I mean, like, I mean, for a fresher, for a graduate to just come to another town or city and then, and then just go about in the office. I mean, typically I would imagine somebody coming and maybe, you know, just emailing their uh, resume here and there. But you were doing it next level since 2012 or something, right? If I'm yeah. not mistaken. And you were listening to podcasts at that time. I mean, I probably I am creating one now, but I <laughs> I was never into hear, listening to podcasts. So it clearly means that listening to podcasts helps, is it? And uh, for, for, me, 
Right. For me, I think at that time and even now, genetic curiosity has been a great thing because I believe that if you uh, get over something or try to achieve something, if you get it done, then your mind start working after that. Otherwise, if you don't achieve what we want, we just keep giving or thinking about that. So podcasting and I think English, particularly because I come from a very small town. So I used to talk with myself in, in the mirror with the English newspaper. That's how I learned English. So all those things combined helped me to get a job and start MKR, get confidence, get network, get everything. Oh dear, something else. I had to say that out loud. <laughs> you really are something else. I, I also want to cover on uh, the third and last question, which is actually the third uh, aspect of yours that I found on, you know, while I was researching about you and your profile to have this interview, uh, I saw that you call yourself as a digital nomad. You've already covered about 80 plus cities within a budget, uh, you know, within a budget itinerary or money or whatever you might call it, it was hardly 17.5k while covering these 80 plus cities it's crazy like it's really crazy i want to understand how did that happen and also were any of these cities inclusive of your mkr travels or initiatives uh, so backpacking again you know uh, i had this uh, habit of genetic curiosity I used to go on Google in 2015, 16, like how the future would be in 2020, 2030. That time I came across this word, nomad, backpacking, solo traveling, so somehow. Then I deep research into it. And in the, in the corporate, I think everybody might know that we get a mandatory leave of 15 days. Then you can, you have to take a leave. So I just thought, okay, let's go somewhere. So that's how my backpacking started. And until 2019, I used to travel for those 15 days every day for one one city. Uh, the network grew. I even went to Malaysia for the Commonwealth Summit. And that was the first time in 2017 when I got to meet Mr. Prince Charles and uh, Malaysia, that was the first flight uh, internationally. My mom told me how to check in in the flight because she has been into the flight before me. And then in 2019, when I left my job, I'm like, let's do something. So I left after Diwali, Pune, and a backpack across India. Definitely MKR was something which I kept researching about uh, by meeting people, like what more can be done. We did a lot of women entrepreneurs meet up across the journey. And to conclude, I got stuck in Guwahati for 70 days, 7-0 in the lockdown. That was a different story altogether, coming from West, going to East for 70 days in the lockdown, and then coming back. So that's my travel journey. This is crazy. I can actually go about, you know, pulling out stories from every sentence that you say, and not for this question, but from every question that you've answered. And if I were to understand, you mentioned about the plane travel and maybe the first time on, on a plane or something. And see that in Commonwealth, how did this happen? That is bizarre. Uh, I did network. So I went to Jagrati Yatra in Pune, then in India, a couple of different, different such gatherings. And then Commonwealth uh, Youth Summit was happening in Malaysia. I applied for it, got selected. And then people, uh, I think 50 countries, uh, candidates were there uh, for the three-day program. So I went there. So was it something related to volunteering? Or how you apply? Kaise karna? Uh -huh. So there's an application which goes on. So the Commonwealth, because India is one of the Commonwealth countries. Right. So they have different, different initiatives. Uh, so it's all on Google. So yeah. Gosh, seriously. Kuch bhi chhoda hai tumne karne ke liye ki ye nahi kiya. Seriously, it sounds like sab. Seriously, it sounds like sab ho gaya. And uh, I have noticed one word that is very consistent throughout uh, the time you have spoken with me is network. And you know, a network is a very diabolical, bada uh, daravna word hai kuch logon ke liye because uh, you know, half of the time they have amazing prejudice and bias towards network and people, you know, view it with very negative sentiments. When you say ne network, because you have said a lot of network, what is your network for you? Or how do you do your network? So I have a quote that make connections when you don't need the most, which means you have to make a connection when you don't have any meaning. What everybody does is like, you know, you meet quality people, you meet people when you need them, you get your basics right, you get a startup right, or you get your XYZ right, and then talk to people. Correct. It's not like that way. Because when you talk to them in that zone, you are more of a receiver than a giver. Mm -hmm. um, so in my life, everybody I talk to, it's more of a giving first. And if nothing comes out of that, I'm pretty okay with that. So networking is something which I'm pretty uh, passionate about. And I really believe that everybody should go for that. A lot of people keep telling me that we are introvert or there's nothing. It's just a waste of time networking. I'm like, yeah, no problem at all. 
बहुत जमाने बाद कोई मिला है जिसने पता है नेटवर्किंग का सही परिभाषा बताया बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल लाइक यू राइटली मैं ऑलवेज व्यू नेटवर्किंग एज अ गिव एंड टेक वाला सम गैम्बल यू नो कि इससे बात करते हैं या आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ यू हैव फ्रेंड्स और एक्स कॉलिग्स और हुएवर जिनको तभी तुम्हारी याद आती जब उनको तुमसे कोई काम होता है या अचानक उन्हें तुम बड़े लोग नजर आने लगोगे और उसके पहले कभी तुम उनको बड़े लोग लगे नहीं थे जबकि यार लाइक आई वॉज द सेम पर्सन यू कैन बैक देन लाइक कोई मेरे में ऐसा एज सच बदलाव नहीं है बट लोगों को देखने का नजरिया चेंज हो जाता है आई गेस सो तुम्हारा भी ऐसा कोई एक्सपीरियंसेस रहा है पीपल आर लाइक बड़े लोग हो गए तुम तो स्टफ लाइक दैट हैपेंड विद नहीं मेरे साथ में क्यों नहीं हुआ आई विल टेल यू व्हाई बिकॉज़ आई आई एम द वे एस वाज इन 2012 टिल नाउ नथिंग हैज चेंज फॉर मी एंड व्हेनेवर आई मीट समवन अ वेरी ऑनेस्टली व्हाट आई डू व्हाट आई हैव अचीव्ड एक्स वाई जी आई कीप आउट ऑफ द डोर आई टॉक टू पीपल विद हार्ट टू हार्ट विद ऑल बिकॉज़ फैमिली नीड्स अ फैमिली पर्सन एंड द फ्रेंड्स इज फ्रेंड्स the professional people in professions so i try to keep all the three different so that's why i don't get into the zone keep so every network of mine everybody has because they have such a good relation with me they tell me genuinely what wrong i am doing so no matter who that person is because the the bond it becomes in the day one search that there is no designation there is no hierarchy there is no uh, xyz whatever it's just as a human being so i think agar wo rehta hai na to fir na koi issue nahi aata hai यार सीरियसली मैं चाहूँ तो मैं तुमसे और काफी देर बात कर सकती हूँ एंड इट इज सो अमेजिंग टॉकिंग टू यू फील सो नेचुरल बट अगर इस कॉल को रैप अप करना चाहें हम एंड इफ आई वर टू आस्क यू टू से सम पार्टिंग थॉट्स टू एनी यू नो यंगस्टर मे बी या कोई ऐसा जो तुम्हें देख के इंस्पिरेशन लेने की सोच रहा हो फ्रॉम योर जर्नी एंड एनी थिंग वॉट वुड बी योर पार्टिंग थाट्स एज अ क्लोजिंग सेरेमनी टू दिस इंटरव्यू और पॉडकास्ट ऑफ यूर्स राइट um uh, in life like whenever we are studying or working we always want to do something different because grass is always green on the other side so when you study or when you work in a corporate i'll talk about the college degree so along with the college degree get a good job get financially secured and along with that start something of your own and for that startup or whatever initiative you take give that startup half an hour every day so six months one year two years four years and then you will realize that you have to take it full time or not सब लोग गलती क्या करते हैं कि वो बोलते हैं कि जब फुल टाइम लेंगे तो ही हम कुछ कर पाएंगे ऐसा नहीं है मैंने सात साल मिट्टी करके रन किया है माई को फाउंडर एंड देन जब लगा कि यार वो कॉन्फिडेंस अंदर से आता है जैसे यू आर्स में क्या गर्ड्स कहाँ से आए कॉन्फिडेंस कहाँ से आया बिकॉज ऑफ सात साल मैंने रन किया है कि मैं अपने आपको पागल नहीं बना रहा हूँ मैं सात साल टिक सकता हूँ तो सत्तर साल तो उसको डिफरेंट लेके जाऊंगा तो डोंट लिव योर फुल टाइम जॉब वर्क अलॉन्ग अलॉन्ग विथ इट डेफिनेटली आप जॉब छोड़ोगे कुछ भी करोगे फैमिली वोट सपोर्ट यू फ्रेंड्स वॉन्ट सपोर्ट यू तो अगर आप दो तीन साल रेडी हो तो मेंटल प्रेशर झेलने के लिए कि यार फैमिली खुश नहीं है खुश नहीं है गो फॉर इट मेरे साथ में हुआ है बट नाउ एवरीबडी इज विद मी उनकी भी गलती नहीं है बिकॉज फ्रॉम वे दे कम फ्रॉम डेकेट बैक वो सब नहीं था तो मेंटल टफनेस कॉन्फिडेंस इन योर सेल्फ यूट्यूब का ज्ञान लेना बंद करो थिंक मोर ऑफ अ प्रैक्टिकल एंड आई एल एंड विथ वन कोट दैट वट आई रियली बिलीव दैट वॉट इज द बिगेस्ट ट्रूथ इन द वर्ल्ड कि दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा सर्च क्या है कि सब झूठ है दैट एवरीथिंग इज अ लाइफ जो भी बचपन से सुनते आ रहे हो मेरी मम्मी को दादी ने बताया दादी को दादी ने बताया वो सब बॉर नॉलेज है यू जस्ट गो आउट लर्न योर सेल्फ एंड जस्ट यू गेट द आंसर एंड दैट इज रिजल्ट्स इतना सिंपल है सीरियसली बहुत सिंपल तुमने तो पूरे जीवन का सार दे दिया यार तुम क्या हो एंटरप्रेन्योर ही हो ना मॉम को स्कूल से बाहरी वाले जोन में तो नहीं जा रहे ना No, I I actually liked it, but uh, seriously, that was an amazing summing up of things. Because आजकल लोगों को आजकल नहीं हमेशा से and I absolutely love the fact when you said कि दस साल पहले या एक decade पहले लोगों को इन सब चीजों की समझ नहीं थी. So I I can relate to that journey and uh, आजकल लोगों को लगता है कि जब तक हम ये चीज पूरा इसको छोड़ के ये नहीं करते या ये करके वो नहीं करते तो नहीं होगा. But आई थिंक साइड हसल उसको किसी वजह से ही कहते थे एंड यू जस्ट ट्राई एंड टेस्ट द वॉटर फॉर योर सेल्फ की करते बन रहा है कि नहीं एंड अगेन आई आई लव दैट पीस ऑफ एडवाइस कि हर दिन आधा घंटा तो ना जरूरी थोड़ी है कि तुम दिन के आठ घंटे काम कर रहे हो और चार घंटे इस पर भी कर रहे हो आधा घंटा से तो शुरू करो पहले तो मेरे को ना बहुत लोग आके बोले की आधे घंटे में क्या ही होगा मतलब पहले वो तो दो आधी घंटा नहीं यार बोले वो भी टाइम नहीं मिला मतलब थ्री आवर्स डे आधे घंटा तो दो पहले करेक्ट तुमने एटॉमिक हैबिट्स घोट के भी है क्या क्या 
नहीं तुम्हें कोई जरूरत नहीं है मतलब मुझे नहीं लगता तुम्हें कोई जरूरत है मैंने सोचा था कि मैं पढूं बट अल्टीमेटली इट्स अबाउट इंस्टेंट ग्रेटिफिकेशन जो कि दुनिया ही तुमको बोलती रहती हर एक नोटिफिकेशन के साथ सो आई डोंट थिंक सो यू नीड टू रीड एटॉमिक हैबिट बट द वे यू आर समराइजिंग थिंग्स मुझे ऐसा लगा शायद से तुमने वो घोट के पी लिए या घोट के पी लिए इन द सेंस एकदम ट्राइड एंड टेस्टेड वाला हिसाब दिस इज अमेजिंग अमित आई आई लव व्हेन आई यू नो हैपन टू मीट पीपल लाइक योरसेल्फ हु हु वॉक द टॉक मतलब सिर्फ बोलने के लिए या इसके लिए नहीं है बट उन्होंने सच में जिया है किया है और कुछ अचीव भी किया है नॉट जस्ट फॉर देम सेल्फ बट फॉर एवरीबडी इट वॉज सच एन ऑनर रेली टू टॉक टू यू टूडे थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर दिस इनिशिएटिव एंड लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड फॉर मोर सच इन द फ्यूचर सी यू टेक केयर